in exams often you are asked about mechanical advantages in liver so what is this mechanical advantage and how do you define it how do you understand it first of all let us understand the concept of the effort arm and the weight arm or the load arm always remember if this is a rigid bar and at one end you have fulcrum at one end you have effort and it in between suppose you have weight so the distance between the weight and the fulcrum is known as the weight arm and the distance between effort and fulcrum is known as the effort arm now you have to remember the placement of fulcrum weight and effort is going to change depending on whether it is the first type of liver first order liver second order liver or third order liver but you have to always remember whenever the effort arm is longer you are going to have a mechanical advantage why because you will require less amount of effort to do that work so in all the cases when the effort arm is going to be bigger compared to the load arm you are going to have a mechanical advantage which is always going to be present in second order liver as the weight is in between the fulcrum and the effort so suppose this is the weight this is the fulcrum and this is the effort the weight can shift here also the weight can shift here also but what we are going to consider as the effort arm the distance between the effort and the fulcrum which is always going to be bigger in second order liver so second order livers always have mechanical advantage while the third order livers always have mechanical disadvantage in first order livers it can be a mechanical advantage and it cannot be a mechanical advantage depending on where is the fulcrum as in the first order liver the fulcrum is going to be in between the effort and the weight if the uh, fulcrum is near to the effort there will be no mechanical advantage if the fulcrum is near to the load there is going to be a mechanical advantage so that is all about mechanical advantage there is also a formula if you want to ever calculate mechanical advantage you just have to go for weight upon effort for example you are given weight in some terms like uh, 5 kg or something and then you have to divide it by the effort or that will be given in some units so that is the formula of mechanical advantage which is not asked much but you should know happy learning